Hey guys, this is Irish Viking Reviews back again with another video. Today we're going to do ice cream reviews. We're going to be going to Spill the Beams, Clem Shack, or Cream Shack, if you don't want to be fancy. And uh, what was the other one? What was the other one, Cameraman? Uh, Kilwins. Kilwins. We're going to go to Kilwins too. And um, I'm sorry that I might be sweaty, pale, and miserable. Because I do this sport, I don't want to explain it because it's really complicated. But I just got back from it. It was really hot, so I'm gonna be a little sweaty. I'm gonna be a little tired. What are you gonna do? That's the perfect time to get ice cream, right? Yeah, perfect time. Let's do this. All right, let's do it. Okay, well, here we are. You ready? Let's do this. All right, we got a second cameraman today, so Patty and I are gonna check this out together and come back out and let you know. We're gonna talk a little bit about the location because it's a little noisy here. But, all right, let's do it. Let's go on in. Okay, so first thing is there's a humongous line. Okay, because I think he came right where we left. Okay, this is Irish Viking Review. He is so hot and tired that he is sitting while I'm waiting in this line. Note, long line. just starting to wait for our ice cream. So it might be like another 10 minutes. This yeah. ice cream better be phenomenal. Dude, hey, all you guys have to go through is the edited version. We're the ones that have to sit and wait. So. We'll let you know the total time. Okay, so we just got to spill the beans. We will come back to you on how long it took, but it definitely took over half an hour just waiting in line getting the ice cream. The only reason it didn't take any more time is because we got a little bit. So we're kind of lucky there. So let's see how this tastes. We got plain chocolate, and we're going to get that at every shop. Yeah, we figure everybody has plain chocolate. So, um, this is two scoops, this little cup. This is two scoops. This is two scoops in a cup. That's how quickly it's hot. That's how quickly it's melting. Yeah, it's melting pretty fast. It's really hot. So. How's it taste? It's really good, but it's definitely creamy. It's a creamy ice cream, you know? where it's like the ice cream that melts faster and is more liquidy you know it's definitely creamier they have this process at spill the beans where this is actually scooped traditional ice cream mayfield i think and they put it in this machine that looks like the drill from incredibles the miner in incredibles Underminer. the underminer and <laughs> You know how he like blasts out of the ground? Anyway, they blast this drill, and I think we got a shot of it, so hopefully we can edit that in. They basically um, just spin this regular scooped ice cream around to make it creamy. We didn't get any toppings in it, but whenever you get toppings or you get any mix-ins, they dump all that in and then use the drill to spin it all together. So it's all one big mixture. You gonna share any of that? Oh man, anything? Sure. So it looks like your standard chocolate ice cream. But it is very creamy. Meant to be creamy. It is. It's creamy. It's good. It is very good. It looks like soft serve, but it's not. That's what the drill does right. to it. The drill makes it look like soft serve, and it has more that. So it's an illusion. Yeah, a little bit, and it comes out in a spiral like soft mm, serve mm. instead of like a scoop. Right, right. But it is scooped ice cream. That's good to know. All right, I think we need to get the... Um, the Irish Viking here is some sugar in his system, so. <laughs> I'm gonna up. finish this up. Eat up. Okay, well. We'll do a cost comparison at the end and yes. tell you how much this two and scoops time. In, a, in a cup costs at each place. And time comparison. Time um, comparison. On how it makes and 
how long we have to wait. This is a great, you know what, we didn't even talk about, the reason we did this one was because it's downtown in Falls Park and all the ones that we're going to today, we're gonna go to three ice cream shops. They're all on Main Street. So there's a lot of ice cream shops that you can go to, but this is designed to review just the ones that are like, you know, we're downtown, we're with our family, we're having a family day downtown, which is the best place to take kids for ice cream on a sun, on a beautiful weekend day. So it's very local area. Yeah, so for this one, you get the benefit of Falls Park, which is the big, um, downtown kind of mecca place to go all on main street they'll still all be on main street so there's pros and cons to that the pro being look at we get to sit at this beautiful garden and see falls park and, con, and look at the dogs the con is there's always a long line and a ton of people and a bunch of kids running the the inside oh we also took note that um they make waffle cones there and in the line there the waffle was, irons are right in front of the line, like the line's right here. Like if the line would be right here, the waffle mm -hmm. irons are right there. And they were open and hot. Like any kid could trip and burn themselves. Or just reach out and touch it, because yeah. they're standing right next to the open hot waffle irons. So that's but, dangerous. So that was pretty dangerous. But we told the guy when we he took our order and he um went and closed them so at least the hot plates weren't open. Well let's spill the beans. Let's spill the beans. Let's try another one. There we go. So we're at Crumb Shack here. It's um, a very fancy place. It's really cool apparently. I've never been. But people say that it's like they roll their ice cream and like like slide ice cream into the cones. I don't have much to say about it because I've never been. So let's check it out. Let's check it out. Rolled ice cream. Cream shit. back from Crumb Shack. It was pretty fast for us because it's a really complicated process. It's a whole thing of collecting, yeah, cool that please. Collecting, flattening, and then rolling. So it's a long process, but we got ours pretty fast. So it's a professional job. We just got plain chocolate because of the other places. We would have gotten something more complex like whipped cream or with Nutty Buddies. But to be fair, you know, you just got chocolate. Yeah, so we're trying to compare like to like things. So this is a plain chocolate. Instead of, they have a different way of freezing it. It's like so it's a liquid. Plate. It starts off, this started off, it looked like a thing Syrup. of chocolate yeah. milk. And they poured it down this cold plate and then they did their magic to it. And we got some video of them doing magic to them. But they basically spread it around till it's frozen. And then they roll it up for you. So it comes in these rolls. But if you were to get it mix in, and there's tons of mix-ins. It's very much like that, you know, marble slab. What's that other one? There's another one. No. It does those elaborate, different flavors you put together. Yeah. Um, but this is plain old chocolate. So try there's it. really cool ones. So pull try it. Pull out the individual or? No, I don't think you can pull it out. Try and pull it out. See if you can pull it out. So there was a line, but it went really fast because there was all they were they were definitely prepared for volumes of people to get them through and to do it. It's How like, is it? It's good. It's really solid. It's really solid. It's like hard. Oh, it is solid. It's hard. 
So it was about 10 minute process from start to finish. Wow. But it's really hard. It's like, it takes force. Okay, yeah. It's a hard ice cream. It's not like the other one where you're like, oh, numb. No, you really kind of got to work a little bit. You have to kind of cut it. But it's good. It's good. It's, I mean, it's chocolatey. I mean, in that aspect, it's chocolate. Yeah. So, um, as far as quality of chocolate, it's not the best tasting ice cream I've ever had. It's definitely a good show. It's almost like an... It almost has that icy taste. You know how when things get like over iced yeah. and you have a little bit of freezer burn? Uh -huh. Does that make sense? It does. And it's really like zoom in and see cam cameraman number two. See how hard it is? Like it's really very hard. Like he's having to really cut it with that spoon. Like you almost have to cut it with a knife. Okay, I'll drink. I'll eat this. It's pretty good. Not really just for show. As far as ice creams go, it's very run-of-the-mill. It's nothing spectacular. It's, it's all about the show. And it was really expensive because we didn't get any toppings or anything. And it was two dollars more than the other ice cream. Now it's, it appears to be bigger, but it might just be because it's in a different form. It may not be any more ice cream than the last one. But this, with no toppings, none of that extra stuff, was seven dollars. So if you're going to take your kids in there and get a big thing, expect to pay like you're eating out. I mean, it's going to be expensive. Any other comments? You still like it's eating it good. It's hard to It does not seem to be slowing him down from eating it just fine. All right, we got one more place to go. That was Crem Shack. That was Crem Shack. So we're at Killwind's here. This is, one, this is one out of the two that we've been to before. So I... I still don't know how I feel about it yet, you know? It's mixed feelings, so it is definitely still fair for the other ones. We're gonna get normal chocolate. Let's go to Kilwins. Alright, Kilwins. like every other place. It was a very short wait. I like, got there and the person was helping us. You know, it was very good. And so I've had a bite of this. I'm sorry, I was hungry. But we're gonna have another. It's really hard for us to wait to eat the ice cream so we have a quiet spot. All right, this is our hiking reviews. Sadly, the audio for the Kill Ones review was really bad. There was a bunch of noise and you couldn't even hear us. So we're gonna tell you our response here. Yeah, so we're, we're retaping it and we're gonna do our review at home. And these but are the little Vikings. These are the little Vikings. This is Chewbacca. This is Vado. They're a little rambunctious, so we just wanted to introduce them, but we'll let them go. Okay, bye. See you, boys. All right, so first thing we wanna do is talk about kill wins. So we're trying to refocus. We're a little off our game because we have to retape, re but um, we still know what we thought. We still know what we thought. So we're going to talk about Kilwins first. So <laughs> Kilwins ice cream was pure chocolate. And it felt like it was way more chocolateness, chocolateness. That's a word. Than other places, because they seem like to have some other thing or lacking of chocolate. You know. So Kilwins was a lot more pure. It was chocolatey. The chocolate was really chocolate chocolatey, which was like a deep, good flavor. The others were plain chocolate that tasted like ice cream, but this was like it had that extra, okay, I think there's a little extra chocolate in this chocolate ice cream. Right, and it was easy and smooth to scoop up and eat. Yeah, so Kilwins as a place, I know we took some video there, so hopefully you'll see that, has like uh, whole counters full of fudge and... Caramel apples. Caramel apples and just treats and peanut clusters and pecan clusters and and I think you know we know that they roll fudge there too it there wasn't anything going on when we were there or we'd have recorded that but but they do make their own fudge there and they can show people right the ice cream itself is just straight scooped ice cream out of the tub they don't do any gimmick with it they just serve it up 
And it's delicious. But it was really good, like good flavored chocolate mm -hmm. ice cream. There was no weight. Right. People were very nice. Mm -hmm. um, you can get samples. You can get samples of anything, which at like Spill the Beans or the other ones, there's no sampling. You were just going to order whatever you order and get what you get. But you could you pretty much have sampled everything at Kilwins mm -hmm. before you actually ordered. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're a family going with a bunches of kids and not every kid wants ice cream, somebody wants a caramel apple or there's somebody wants fudge. other options. Right, there's other options. That everybody doesn't have to get ice cream, which was really cool from my perspective because I'm not an ice cream person. So if I can go and have something else, that would be mm -hmm. a preference for me. So That's bonus points for extra serving other stuff. Yes. So uh, let's choose the winner. So we're going to like summarize each place. Yes. So if we go back to Spill the Beans, it was, um, it was hard, regular ice cream that was drilled mm -hmm. to seem like it was soft serve. But it was normal. But it wasn't. But it felt like soft serve, which was a bonus, because mm -hmm. if you like really soft ice cream, it was really good. Yes. Pro, that was a pro about it. Yes, but it was very packed, and it's right in downtown Greenville, so it's very packed. Most of the time, there will be a line, long way, long serve. Yeah. Great location. You pay for the location and time, though, mm -hmm. because there was a long half an hour wait. And if yeah. you had kids, so tell, tell them how you felt about the wait. I don't like it. Well, he didn't do it. He went and sat down, which I think is what most kids are going to do. They're on a hot day, standing but there for half an hour. If some kids do stand in the wait, they don't. They're not going to like it, you know. Yeah. By the time you get your ice cream, you're hot and cranky. Right. So, but it tasted good. <clears throat> so time for creme shack. Creme shack. Creme shacks wasn't good. It was not flavorful ice cream. It tasted icy because they had just iced it so it had that burnt ice flavor to it, it not really very hard, chocolatey not and it very was, chocolatey at all no not very chocolatey and it was really hard you had to like really force your scoop to get it out and then it was hard to eat in your mouth so a little kid would probably not even be able to eat it like if it was a little kid without really strong grip it's they would not, drop it they would not be able to scoop it out and cut it and get it right so that place wasn't Really, it was 100%. And you can't have show. it in a cone yeah. at um, Creme Shack. It's this. It's just that gimmick of rolling. It was 100% show based. Right. Yes. Your money was to see them make it. Right. So that's, and it's expensive. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Kilwins. Kilwins was the same price as Spill the Beans. They were both about the same amount of ice cream. It was one scoop at Kilwins was equivalent to two scoops at um, Spill the Beans. But it doesn't matter because they were both five dollars and they were the equivalent amount. So you got more bang for your buck. Well, you got about the same bang for your buck. But if you you could order less at Spill the Beans, I don't know what one scoop would have cost. We didn't get one scoop. We got two. But both two scoops at Spill the Beans was five bucks. One scoop at Kilwins was the same amount of ice cream, and it was five bucks. So the other was seven buck. bucks. Mm -hmm. um, and so, so Creme so, so Kilwins was great atmosphere, very friendly, no yes. weight at all. So, the winner of Irish Viking Ice Cream Reviews is Kilwins. Kilwins. So I'm really excited about that because they have Mackinac Island Fudge Ice Cream, and Kilwins is obviously has strong Michigan ties. Or was so as a Michigander, Michigan. I um, am very excited about that. Mm -hmm. I'm glad for my my ice cream place did Victory. the best. Victory. Um, they are all chains, I think. Mm -hmm. Spill the Beans might be local, but there's more than one. But I think that maybe Spill the Beans is local. No, there's only one Spill the Beans, says cameraman number two. Um, so the other two are definitely chains where you could get that same other places. So place. next week is a surprise. Next week, another review. We got it planned. We're looking forward to it. I shall give you a hint. Cameraman number one is really excited about next week. <laughs> I shall give you a hint. Spicy. Spicy. Goodbye. Bye. Bye for now from Irish Viking Reviews. See you later, Irish Viking Reviews.